Hello, I'm Alexio, and welcome to NEWR Guy, the season finale. We're going crazy today. Literally. I'm in my old costume. Fucking tight. And like I said, we're going crazy. We're looking at crazy things with some of the craziest matches. We've got tables, light tubes, we've even got a telly in there somewhere. But we'll start off at one year, day one. The Jizz versus Richard Carey in a two out of three falls table match. It's a two out of three falls table match. Richard Carey victorious in his NEW guest spot debut with the RKO through a table. We're going to get a little more heat to proceedings now as we go to one year day two when Dim Van Dam faced off against Sean Nash in a fire death match. Red card Sean Nash victorious in the fire death match. But we'll see more of both men a little later on because they were both kind of accustomed to having crazy matches. When you define crazy matches, it doesn't always have to mean weaponry and putting people through stuff. Sometimes it might just mean absolutely batshit mental. As this match from New and Exclusive 30 will attest when Fraggle took on the mystery team in a handicap match. Moving on quickly, at Addiction 7, we saw a pretty crazy main event when Sean Nash, again, took on Mad Jack Alpha. This is where the telly gets involved. Oh. 
So despite interference from Ginger Menace Ryan Hills, Mad Jack Alpha was able to pick up the win. Thinking about it, Mad Jack Alpha's original debut as Matty Killswitch was a little bit crazy itself. It started when he was introduced by Mr. Dim Van Dam. I a little bit of the history between me and Matty Killswitch, my opponent for tonight, the debutante Matty Killswitch. Right, you see, what happened about three or four years ago, we weren't really wrestlers, we were, you know, we were kids, we were just mucking about, like, going to different clubs here and there. You see, he came up to me, he said, Dim, Dim, help me, help me. And I said, why should I help you? He said, because my daddy's a drunk and my mother's a whore and I cannot go home because I have fear of them sticking heroin needles inside me without my express permission. I said, that's okay, man, right? Come under my wing. I'll teach you the ropes. I'll teach you the wrestling industry. And say to me that he can defeat me on his debut, his mentor, his master, his trainer? No, sir. Then I'm going to prove that once you're the master, you will remain the master. So at Addiction 3, Dim Van Dam wanted to show Matthew Killswitch that he was still the master, giving us this pretty memorable debut match. Dim Van Dam proved he was still the master, despite having a piece of paper with the word has been stapled to his forehead. Onward, back to one year day two. And what would a crazy episode be without a bit of blood? And we get a bit here in a first blood match between Mokujin and Homeless Bifkin. You screw Brett! You screw Brett! You screw Brett! Bifkin was victorious when he rammed Mokujin's head into a tree to our final match of the season. I really should give you the champion of crazy matches. So I will. It was the final match of the Tag Team Title League at NEWNV. The winner would become Tag Team Champions, the first ever Tag Team Champions. It was the Jizz Show, Shane O'Nash and the Jizz, against my bitch partner, Billy Joe, and Sean Nash again. This is fucking mental.
Sean Nash and Billy Joe were tag team champions. And that's it for the season. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, I won't worry about it, it's not going to be for a while. Hey, I'm not going to do a weird bit at the end this time. Just going to give a shout to my gig next week. Please come along Thursday night of October at the Scream Lounge. Rebel Cat Faction, Alexio, and an acoustic set from the Dirty Mouths. Free entry, go along, drink a load, say hello. Have a good one.